Today we're going to talk about how words can be used as magic or magical spells to affect change. Now words are not just elements of speech or writings, they can be used to achieve magical effects and strengthen a magical operation. This is also the secret art of producing, directing and manipulating energy. When spoken out loud, words transform into vibrational frequencies and these vibrational frequencies or vibrations can direct energy. And it's important to know that this is one of the first key steps to creating magical effects. Deliberate effects intended to affect change. Now most people will ridicule the idea of magic. People will even dispute if magic is actually real. But what if they knew what magic really was? and how magic is being used to control them at this very moment. If you practice magic, then you know what I'm talking about. The world is dominated by magic, and until you train your eyes to see how magic is used to control you, then you will never know how the world really works. At least, how these elitists and black magicians use magic to pull the wool over people's eyes to form a veil, so they can gain the advantages and you just stay in the rat race or are enslaved without even realizing it, like the movie The Matrix. Now, the controllers do this, and they use magic in a negative sense to pull the strings. And a lot of these politicians that use magic are well aware of how magic works. And like I mentioned, many of them actually practice the art of magic. And at the same time, why these very dark magicians, they know how effective vibration and magic is and how it can affect change. This is why they are opposed to magic being openly discussed and becoming available for the masses. Unfortunately, they also love to use magic to achieve their nefarious aims and manipulate situations to their advantage and exercise domination over regular people and the masses. And they do this in order to maintain power as well as your free access to the same means that they are using to achieve or fast track their own success and attain domination and affluence. They concentrate all their energy and resources into doing this instead of actually using it to change the society or communities in the world to form a better place for all humankind. You know, let's just say good magicians need to work a lot harder to achieve the same aims. The most powerful thing in the universe is energy and vibrational energy. If you learn how to control and direct a vibrational energy or energy through vibration, you will then become one of the most powerful people on earth. Why do you think the controllers and these dark magicians are so obsessed with magical chants, magical formulae, energy, and how to vocalize it. The word magic is derived from the old French word of magique, or the Latin magicus, or the Greek magikos. Now, one of the earliest definitions of magic is the art of influencing events and producing marvels using hidden natural forces, or the hidden forces that are within us. Magic has a strong relation with magnetic and electrical energy through the medium of vibration. But the word magnetic, by the way, has the word magic in it. All you need to do is take out the net part, N-E-T, in the word magnetic, and you're left with the word magic. Dark magicians, which are usually a lot of the elite in society, or people that have fame in rock bands, etc. They are so obsessed with practicing words of power magic, along with chanting certain words and secret geometries. That the common words that are used in magic rituals, these very words produce powerful tones when spoken aloud, and these are the keys to affecting desired change. Now, this is also one reason a lot of pop singers, rock singers, rock stars are into magic. They understand the power of vibration. So do monks and priests, the Gregorian chants, or the Buddhist monks of Tibet. They have tremendous power, and they knew what they were doing and the secrets of vibrational formulae and re reciting with sound, certain sounds and certain words. So if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy frequency and vibration, because sound is able to direct energy or energies. And it is for the reason that it carries certain energetic patterns through the vibration. Now furthermore, sound is one of the natural forces used by nature to create crystalline structures and secret geometries, which are some of the building blocks of matter. Now, let's take a look at Dr. Nikola Tesla. In 1942, the famous scientist, Dr. Nikola Tesla said, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. He's talking about sound as well. The whole of the universe is energy, and each basic element of the known atomic chart consists of energy at different rates of vibration. 
This is what he was saying. The difference between any two elements is the difference in both atomic structure and vibrational rates. This energy is not only beneficial, but also essential to all living cells, whether human, plant or animal. Man utilizes this energy with his mind. Every thought is transmitted by this energy. Every aspect of life in the physical depends on this basic energy or power of the universe. And through vibration of sound, you affect change even more deliberately because the power of thought also requires intense focus. But if you are able to focus the intensity through sound in the proper intonation and vibration using the words of power, you get to do the same thing. It's all to do with energy, frequency and vibration at a sound level. Now, spiritual growth is our only purpose and reason for being alive on Earth. Each individual must learn how to utilize this energy for spiritual growth and constructive purposes. We do this in the form that we call magic. This is the full meaning of magic. The constructive positive use of this energy raises the level of consciousness of man and in turn raises his vibrational rate or frequency. What we project from our mind in the form of thoughts we create and receive affects everything around us, anything physical and also metaphysical. Spiritual growth requires the elimination of all negative thought which dissipates the life force or vital energy. Every individual knowingly or otherwise makes use of this energy. Our bodies use this energy to heal injuries, to reduce stress and fatigue, and to grow physically, spiritually, and magically. Without exception, everyone, absolutely everyone, has the ability to attract as much of this universal energy as the individual's body and mind require and is able to handle. And the only way you're able to handle it is through proper training. Unfortunately, the seemingly hectic pace of modern life has most of us looking after day-to-day -day cares with precious little time to concentrate on attracting sufficient quantities of this vital universal energy to meet our specific needs or to help us create the world that we really want to live in. Now, like the secrets of the tuning forks that are created to produce certain vibrations in sound by being keyed to certain frequencies, so we can also use words to affect matter and energy around us. Once you know how words, along with sounds, can be used to direct energy through vibration to produce magical effects, you will then know how words are even more powerful than swords. When you move the letters around in words and take the S and put it in front of the W, what does it spell? Sword. Now this is by no accident. All words in the English language are carefully designed and put together in a way that produces magical effects. The wool has been pulled over your eyes. To keep you from the truth. And Neo says, what truth? And Morpheus says, you are a slave, Neo. You were born into bondage, born into a prison that you cannot smell and not even touch. A prison for your mind. Now, The Matrix was not just a movie. It was an experiment done by the, the elite to a certain extent, these elite magicians in society, uh, to see how people would react to a movie that was telling them the actual truth, but in a metamorphic way. Now, after learning this all-important alphabet, you're taught how to spell using these letters of the alphabet. Magic spells and spelling have the word spell in them. This is also no accident. It's right in your face, but it's, it's hidden right there, right in your face. People are too ignorant and lacking in knowledge that they have no idea that what they are actually doing when they're using harsh words on one another. So using these swear words or curse words is a way of binding others, and this is what they want you to do everybody will end up binding each other and limiting each other. How magic affects you. Next time you make a wish using words or yell at someone using curse words, you may want to think twice before you actually vocalize those words, especially to your loved ones.